Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary GZ Duels, here to present to you my Harpy deck profile for the January 2014 format. I had a lot of fun playing this. I think it really stands up to uh, the challenge of the meta right now, especially the uh, the uh, flexibility it has with the side deck, and I'll show you guys why I think it's a really good deck. So without further ado, let me get into the deck profile itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, over each card, and I'm going to give you a brief description of why I run it, and why I run it at 2. So the first monster we're going to go over is Harpy's Pet Dragon. I play it at 2 because I'm not really afraid of drawing 1. Uh, in fact, if I do happen to draw 1, um, you know, I will still have the other one live in the deck. So that's one advantage. The second advantage of playing 2 is you might possibly use use both of them. Uh, you have uh, you have the ability to search Channeler uh, via discarding or destroying Hysteric Sign. You have the ability to search Channeler or Special Summon Channeler with the effect of Summoner Monk. So uh, the chances of you getting off your uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon, um, like getting Special Summoned, is much higher than you drawing it. So I'd rather take that risk. Thirdly, even if you happen to draw it, it's not really a bad card to draw because you can pay it as a cost for Hysteric Party. You can pay it as a cost for Divine Wrath. You can pay it as a cost for a channeler as well so it really doesn't matter uh, that you draw into one but if you draw into two well i guess you're unlucky but that is even more unlikely so that's why i played at two three harpy queens nothing really needs to be said about this um you know re really good effect you get to search for uh the very op harpy's hunting ground so you need three of them it has a really good attack as well so you know if your opponent goes uh first turn uh thunder king ryo and then you just summon out this attack trash with them and then you can still go off with your play so it really doesn't bother you uh, really good overall solid stats solid attack uh, Zephyros uh, you can uh, you only need one because you can search it out you can special summon it out with um, summoner monk and you often do do that and you often if you draw it you can pay it as a cost you can discard it to the graveyard it's a wing beast so you can chain it with uh, Icarus attack so there's a lot of synergy and uh, it's just overall really good you can use this effect to bring back hysteric party that you've used so you can recycle this you can also recycle the field cards you can also recycle um things like um hysteric sign and if you side in some of these cards you can also like bring back these continuous uh, spell and traps in order to get a free summon and you can go for xyz's three harpies channeler best effect of the deck discard one harpy uh card you can summon out one harpy late a uh, harpy card monster from your uh, from your deck without level restriction and uh you know you can go for some really powerful rank 7 xyz's it's just a really good card overall three harpy lady number one i run this over cyber harpy lady because i don't depend on it for the attack first of all and second of all uh with the with its own effect of boosting all wind monsters you know you can get off more damage if you're trying to do for an otk uh also if you um if you have the field card with it, uh, if you summon it out, the addition of all of the stats added together is 1,800 attacks. So uh, it's just a bit under uh, Cyber Harvey Lady, but I think it's much better. Uh, two Harpy Dancer because you can do a lot of crazy things with this. You can use this to, in conjunction with the Harpy Field card, in order to pop two cards. You can use this in conjunction with the one Divine uh, Wind of Mist Valley and just get pluses every turn. Every turn you summon out Dancer, return it, and then you get to special summon out a Wind Monster from your graveyard. That's just some crazy things. Uh, some crazy things can happen. Uh, Summoner Monk, great synergy with the deck. You can, it's dark, so if you discard something uh, like Hysteric Sign, you can get out. Out, uh, Zephyros and then you can go for something like a master key beetle that is possible you can also summon out uh, Harpy's channeler and go for further XYZ -ing. and uh, it's just really good it's an outlet for you to discard hysteric sign so you can search for three Harpy cards at the end phase like right away without really and losing anything so it's a very good card uh, dark hole really good card uh, three Hopstar goblins uh, I'm not following the so-called Hobening trend uh, trend I don't think that that's like I think that's a stupid way to, to categorize something like law Logical. Um, I don't believe that you should play, you know, three upstar goblin, three uh, reckless grease, and call your deck a deck and just like oh it's good. But it's it's really uh, it makes sense to play three upstar goblins. Um, life points nowadays really doesn't matter unless you're an OTK deck because um, the best that it does is give your opponent an extra turn. I guess that would would be bad uh, with a deck like against a deck that you know doesn't have a lot of sustain. But the harpy deck has 
quite a bit of sustain if you play it right. Uh, some players will complain that Harpy Harpy ladies they they go all out the first few turns and then like they have no cards in their hand. They're top decking after that, and if their opponent gets rid of their whole field, you know they're basically crying. But that's not the case of this build, right? This build you're focused on uh, using abusing Divine Wind of the Mist Valley to get you free summons every turn with Harpy Dancer. You're abusing uh, the ability to use, to search with Hysteric Sign. You're abusing the ability to revive your monsters with Hysteric Party. So in fact, there is a lot of longevity in the deck. So you know, giving my opponent a thousand life points really doesn't matter if I can win out in the early game by uh, having a more consistent deck that I can draw into an extra card, and that extra card happens to be I don't know a Harpy's Channeler, and then I can get off my Draco Sack first turn. So I think it's really worth it. Uh, Elegant Egotist because you can search with Hysteric Sign has a good effect as well. You can special summon out uh, a Harpy Lady number one from your deck. So you know you can go for some crazy X Y Z plays. You can go for Chidori. Book of Moon, very versatile card. You should play it at every deck, I think, is pretty much a staple. Three Hysteric Signs, nothing needs to be said. Uh, without this card, I don't think people will even care about Harpies. Um, it's ability to not only search for uh, Egotist, but plus three at the end phase is just ridiculous. Uh, Divine Wind of the Mist Valley, the fact that they have to limit it to one, already like is a testament to how powerful it is you can use it to in conjunction with your dancer you can do something like summon out uh, a monk you know discard a spell maybe upstar goblin if you don't need it and then get harpy dancer and then activate a mist a divine wind in this valley return your harpy dancer and then uh, harpy dancer's effect will activate to try to summon itself you can choose to summon it or not to summon it it really doesn't matter uh, and then you use the effect of mist valley to bring out something like uh, channeler and then with channeler if you don't choose to special uh, you don't choose to resummon out your dancer you can just discard a dancer and then you can get out your harpy's pet dragon i know it's a pretty complicated combo but it's really not and once you play the deck you'll figure things like this out and uh, you basically plus one you actually you don't plus one you don't lose anything so i think it's a very worthwhile card to play three harpies hunting ground because of this uh, field card you need it at three uh you don't even need to play mystical space typhoon in the main deck because whenever you're going off you're summoning harpy ladies right and whenever you summon harpy ladies you get to destroy a spell a trap so um you know summon 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 you have a mirror force that's cute you can't use it you have a deep prison oh that's cute you can't use it so it's very versatile uh, also, traps, we have one bottomless, you need that, two uh, acres attack, three is too much, two is just perfect because, you know, you have everything that's over here is like basically wing beast, but three is just uh, a bit overkill. Um, also, one compulse, uh, two vanity's emptiness, I like vanity's emptiness because, <clears throat> A, you can get rid of it with your field card when you don't need it. To, uh, B, you can uh, use it in conjunction with Master Key Beetle, who will protect it. And you can get a Master Key Beetle in the first turn if you have Summoner Monk. And uh, it's just three is a very powerful card if you have Harpy Channeler, and then you use Harpy Channeler's effect to get into something like a Draco Sack. And the first turn, Draco Sack plus um, <clears throat> Vanity's Emptiness is quite a powerful thing for, you to, for your opponent to get rid of. Two is Derek Party, revives a lot of Harpy Ladies, no reason why not to run it. Uh, two Divine Wrath, as you can see, I don't play things like uh, uh, Effect Veiler, I don't play uh, Phoenix Chain because Divine Wrath is just a faster card. And the reason why you play Divine Wrath and these discard cards is because you can discard Hysteric Sign as a cost, and in the end phase you can add plus three, and it's just a really good synergy with the deck. And one Solemn Warning. Okay, this is really, really long, but extra deck, two Draco Sacks, because you can go into them, Big Eye, uh, Master Key Beetle, Lagia and Dolka, because you run DNA Surgery in the side deck, I'll talk about that, uh, Silent uh, Honor Arc, very good card, Zero Finds, very good card, you can negate like all face-up cell and traps, all face-up cards actually, so it's pretty powerful, two Chidori, because it's, it's a very um, utility oriented card, and you can use it multiple times, because you have a lot of wind monsters, and uh, Exciton Knight is a very powerful card too, especially when you use it early game, I love it when I used it against my opponent who went first. He set three cards face down in the spell and trap, one monster face down. But when it's my turn, I just simply went Summoner Monk into Zephyros, into Exciton Knight, activated the effect, destroyed his field. So it's very, uh, it's, um, very powerful early game. Um, one Symphony to Jin and uh, one Abyss Dweller and one Gaga Cowboy. You know, there, there's no need to explain. Uh, side deck, two Soul Taker, generically taking down monsters that try to lock down you. So, you know, things like Photon, uh, Photon, uh, Strike Bouncer, uh, Abyss Gaios, um, let's see, things that prevent you from special summoning. I don't know, like Christia. Uh, three Mystical Space Typhoon against those decks that have field cards to try to replace your field card. And also against like Fire Fist, Mermails that have like things that have like continuous spell and traps that you want to chain to. 
Um, you also play Dimensional Prison, uh, Dimensional Fissure, and Macros Cosmos because really you don't need to care about the graveyard. Uh, the most powerful discard effects like Channeler and uh, the Monk are just discard. You don't have to discard and send to the graveyard. Only like Queen is discard and send to the graveyard, but it really doesn't matter because you could use it as a normal monster, 1000 Hydra attack, and still pretty powerful. So uh, at the cost of like messing up the Mermail player's day, I'd rather do that. Uh, two mistake because you know a lot of decks add cards, but you just have to be careful when you want to use it uh, You don't want to use it when you have a hysteric sign that you've destroyed or discarded You know that kind of sucks But the good thing is because it's a continuous spell or trap You can get rid of it if you want at your leisure with the effect of hunting ground uh, Two mind drains because you know you don't run anything that has like hand traps whereas meta decks do uh, One soul drain because you can only play it at one and you don't depend on the graveyard for effects that that much except for Zephyros which you can side out and then uh, lastly you have three DNA surgery which you can use to either call I don't know uh, you can call wing beast so that your extra attack becomes more alive you can use your extra attack on like I don't know a Draco sack and all of a sudden you know you can get rid of two extra cards and then you can you you can use the the DNA surgery to call for dinosaurs and then you can go and XYZ into Logi and Doka and then you flip up macros cosmos you win like you know like dino rabbits right uh, so yeah really that's all I wanted to say I think that's a very successful deck against the mainstream meta right now which are like mermail fire fist I don't know some other spammy decks that a lot of synchros a lot of XYZs um, I don't know heretics and stuff like that you know gear gear so it's a very good matchup against those, especially when you go first, or even if you don't go first, you have a lot of answers in the side deck that will answer what they're a what they're a um, able to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, deck profile. It's a bit long because I went on a bit of a ramble. Um, but if you have any suggestions for future decks, please feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to take on new challenges. Hope you enjoyed this one. This is Gary GC Duels signing out.